So this will be tutorial 3 of our Scala programming from beginner to experts and today we are going to actually be, actually be writing our first Scala program. You need to pay attention to exactly how I'm going to be setting up the run configuration for our program. So to do this, I'm going to simply go to uh, IntelliJ and say file and say new project. So once you say new, uh, new project, it opens up this window and you have Scala. If you follow this tutorial 2 before now, tutorial 1 and 2, you have you know how you can set up Scala in IntelliJ and you have it here. And you are going to choose SBT. Once you choose SBT, you go next. And this time you are going to choose the directory you want. So I'm going to call it first program. So this is going to be your first program in Scala. And your JDK could be 1.8, you can also be something more everything can actually just be the same. So I'm going to click on finish. Um, so you say uh, variety, no, so let's give a name. So I'm going to call it first prog. Uh, actually, I'm going to call it first color program. The name does not matter. So this, this will be your first program. Now it opens in another window, so I'm going to more or less drag the new window right here. So this is first Scala program we just created. Again, I'm going to put it side by side with the tutorial page right here. So let me just snap it to the side here and this one just be here. Okay, so we've created our first Scala program and we use SBT. Now I'm going to, so actually build, but that is not important. Okay. So the first thing we are going to do is to drop down, expand this and go into the SRC. So in, inside the SRC you have two folders or two packages. You have the main and the test and inside both of them you have Scala. We are going to be writing our source code or programs inside the main package, inside the main and inside the Scala. So I'm going to create one, sorry, not Java class. So right click, this is very important. And now we don't see Scala shown up here because we need to create a Scala class, right? To solve this problem, we are going to simply right click. I think I explained it right here as well. So I explained it, I can't remember, and I think I did. Yeah, I did, step one. All right, so I'm going to right click here, that's step one. You see, add framework support. That is step one right here in my website. We are going to create um, add framework support and yeah so we are going to go down and look for Scala so this is Scala and select it and say okay all right so at this point if I right click I will, I will see new Scala class so I'm going to click on new Scala class and I'm going to set it to object when you set it to object it's going to be that you have a main method provided for you because this object will extend the app class Okay, so let's follow the instructions. I've already done this, uh, name the class main and change it to object and I did. So I'm going to call this class main and, and this is it. Okay, you are going to make this class extend the app class, extends the app class so that we can have, um, so that we'll be able to have a main method provided for us. So. Uh, so this is object main extends up. Okay, so I don't know why this is. So I'm going to stop it. Okay, so let's write this program. So the first thing we want to do now is to create a sequence of ages. So I'm going to say val ages is equal to sequence. So sequence uh, seq. So that sequence and uh, just. We have to create a class. So now, what I'm going to try to do, because now you have this syntax error here, I'm actually going to extend app as well. So you have the syntax error here. Now there's a problem with Scala and IntelliJ sometimes. It may have this syntax error, I mean highlighting error that we have right here, but it still works. And later I'm going to show you how to fix it. 
So now we are going to set up our build configuration and I'm going to go to add configuration and simply click on this plus sign, go down and simply choose SBT, simply choose SBT, SBT task and give it a name. Here yeah, I'm going to call it Ron Scala Program, that's the name and the task here we are going to actually use a tilde symbol. So the tilde symbol should be this symbol. Let me see if I can get it on my keyboard. Should be um, here. Yeah, so this is a tilde symbol. But for some reason, the one on my keyboard seems not to be right because I'm using a Mac keyboard. So I'm going to just look for tilde online and this is the symbol so i'm going to simply copy it from here and paste it so in that way i'm sure i have the correct symbol so i'm going to just paste it here like this so you see it's a little bit different from the one i had before okay so i'm going to click apply and say okay now this run scala program appears here by the way before i do this let me show you you can just if you are if you don't want this you have a mistake you've made and you want to still reuse it maybe correct it uh, correct it later on you can simply comment it out using double slash now we simply want to print out print ln just to make sure everything is working hello from scala all right, so print line hello from scala and this given convert to string that's not important okay so I'm going to come here. Now I want to see what happens. So you have this SBT shell, the output or the result of this program is going to be printed out here. So this is like the console. That's what we call here the SBT shell. So I'm going to simply click on this from. So when I click on it, we wait for a second and you can see hello from Scala. You can see, right? Okay, so everything works perfectly, even though it gives us, it's giving us the right highlight in here. So let's write it, something a bit more interesting. So I actually would have copied from my website, but what I do recommend for you is simply to type out the code yourself. The more you type, the better, the more you improve your skills in programming. So I'm going to say if our name is equal to Muno. And I'm going to now print. Now I'm going to show you how to use concatenation operator. Actually, this is um, a different kind of concatenator, the concatenation operator. So it's going to print line S to indicate that this is a string, the oldest, the oldest of all is, and then you specify ages.max. So taking the maximum, the maximum from the ages as uh, a sequence here and we are going to now print again in the second line print line and s specify his name is and we are going to now say name okay so just to make things look a little neat i'm going to just print let me show you how to do some interesting things so you want to print a line so i'm going to used like this minus sign I'm going to say times uh, let's say times 80 and it's going to print a line for us so this is like uh, some trick <laughs> instead of to print a uh, type several times this minus key you have to just say times the number of times and here I'm going to save somehow if I save it's going to refresh and rerun the application and now you can see what we have here okay so this is basically your first scala program we've written we've run and we've set up the configuration so at this point you should be comfortable using scala now there is something else you need to know and that is called the scala worksheet we're going to be talking about this in the next tutorial I would like to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and also leave me a comment if this has been informative for you. I remain kind on the tech pro and I'm always there for you.